So we are out here in uh, Fort Clinch at Bernardina Beach-ish area. Got my wife and the model. Our model's name is Kim. So I've shot with her once before a while. I think it's about a year ago now. It's been a minute. So we're out here. We have a lovely beach area. I'm gonna go shoot. I have the Peter McKinnon filter on. I'm gonna be using that pretty much all day because we're shooting in the middle of the sunlight. So right now I got the 23 mil on. Let's get it. back out here yeah. um, still at Fort Clinch but this time we got a different model we got Alex <laughs> so check, the fit, check, the fit. check out my wife's new fit <laughs> check it check it oh kill him oh, kill him oh got the got them CVS flops honey <laughs> them CVS leggings oh I had a gel manicure or pedicure um, but one chip and I can't stand when my, like one of them are tips, so I yeah. them off. So, we are kind of wandering around the park, just finding different places to shoot. It's crazy. Um, the only downside sometimes is like when you're shooting at historical places, you don't want to disrespect the area and kind of what happened at places. So you kind of want to be like respectful, don't jump too many fences or anything like that. Double check where people like may have passed away and been buried. Just be respectful and just be mindful. Cool. Let's get to shooting.
So guys, obviously we're back in the office. Um, it took a few weeks to get my film scans back, but that's all right. I kind of gave them a lot of film. I didn't just drop off like that whole shoe. I dropped off a few more. Um, as you can probably tell from my sheet, there's like five. Yeah, I dropped off like five rolls of film. And uh, so like, if you guys look at all the different shots, um, it, I, at first it's kind of hard to tell which is digital and which is not. Um, obviously it depends on what film stock you're using. Um, I actually swapped out to a different film stock halfway through um, the shoot. So at first I was using Kodak C200 and then second was Savima 160, which Savima 160, that's a whole different story that has a weird look to it that I didn't know that it had. Um, which obviously you could probably tell in the last two photos which camera was which. Camera A is your film camera, camera B is digital, the Fuji film. Um, at first it's kind of hard to tell because I edit very differently for each one. Um, shooting in direct daylight is a lot more of a challenge than I thought. So let me know which one you prefer um, in the comments. Personally, lately I've been leaning a lot more towards film. There's way more dynamic range that you have a little more versatility. Tone, obviously, depending on which film stock you pick, is going to give you the tone that you want. So, like, digital requires way more editing, you're spending way more time on a single photo, you're also trying to sit there and narrow down which photo you like best as opposed to film, which you either took a good photo or you didn't, so you're done. Um, apologies for the yard people outside my apartment, the weed eater is right outside! Done yet, bro? He's like right by my front door. Like right underneath me. Anywho, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, leave your personal opinions on which one you prefer. Um, probably gonna be shooting a lot more film. Uh, so, see you guys in the next video. Cool.